What's going on guys? So if you guys are ever at home and you got some polished wheels and you're wondering how can you get them polished but you don't want to drop them off at a polisher and spend endless amount of money, well today you're in luck because we're in the same boat. We got these SSR wheels right here that need to be repolished and we don't want to drop them off, we want to do them ourselves. We are not professional polishers. This is something we're going to teach you to do at your house with simple tools and simple products. So I'm going to hand the camera off to Sean and let's dive right into it. Before you polish the wheel, you want to start off with prepping it. The products we use to prep the wheel is any wheel cleaner. We use Retaliate from Limitless. You can get it on our website. It's going to be linked down below. Next, you can also use any degree service and be on our website as well. Just so you want to get all the grit and grime off the wheel. Next, you want to give yourself an orbital polisher. This one we picked up at Harbor Freight for 60 bucks. You get them on Amazon, or Harbor Freight, wherever. Definitely want one of these. Next, any household drill. Definitely the more powerful the better, but you want a drill. Then off Amazon, you want to get some polishing pads. These were $13 on Amazon. This is definitely a necessity you're going to want to polish your wheels. Next, you're going to need a polishing compound. We like to use a Zephyr Pro 40, so that's what we're going to be using today. If there's any grit that didn't come off when you wiped the wheel down before, you definitely want to grab yourself some 1500 grit sandpaper. We'll show you how we use it. Last but not least, you're going to need a ton of microfiber, so get yourself a big pack of them. So as you can see here, this wheel has definitely seen years of neglect. Brake dust is your biggest enemy when it comes to polished wheels. You can see just years of grit and grime build up. So we're going to bring these wheels back to life and we're going to show you right now. We're going to take our 1500 grit sandpaper and we're going to sand down the wheel. You don't want to use a ton of pressure. You just want to get in all the nooks and crannies. You're going to feel the high spots, left and right motions. So after you're done sanding it, just because we're showing you a test area, it's not a bad idea to wash the wheel down. We're just going to be spraying it with some waterless wipe. So we're going to lose some waterless wipe, just to get all the contaminants from sanding off. Now it's time to polish the wheel. Next we're going to use our Zephyr Pro 40 compound. We're going to put on an applicator. You don't need a lot. What I like to do is three little dabs. That's all you really need. A little goes a long way, so especially since we're just doing this little sample spot right here, that's all we need. What I like to do is dabbing motions. Just make sure you want to cover it. You don't want to oversatch the area you're polishing, so this is what I like to do. Next, you want to use one of the polishing pads you got from your polishing pad kit from Amazon. For this wheel, I like to use the biggest pad they have. I like to hold it upside down just because that gives me the most clearance. Depends what wheel you're using, depends where you're doing it, depends what drill you have, but this is the way I like to do it. I like to do forward and back motions while going to a left and right motion. That was a lot of motions. I have the drill on the highest setting and you want to be using firm pressure. So let's get right into it. On most wheels, you are gonna have this step on the barrel. So it, it gets a little tricky here. So on Amazon kit, it has this little half ball looking pad. This right here is perfect to get in those spots. So we'll show you right now. Make sure it's tight. Then you wanna use this right on the steps. Take our clean microfiber and give it a quick wipe. So what I like to do is after your first pass, you like to see you definitely missed some spots. So what I like to do is go back, do the same thing over again, but make sure you want to focus on the spots that you missed before. You'll see I missed some spots right here. I got some spots over here and there are some excess compound left over you want to wipe off, but there are spots that I missed. So you want to go back and you want to make sure you hit all those spots. Next, we're gonna go back with that smaller pad to get the steps. I'll make sure you get a clean spot, and again, forward motions. Now you can see this is just two passes, just two passes, and definitely a huge difference. Now that that's complete, we got some insane results on the finish of the wheels. We're gonna go, our final step is to get the lip of the wheel, because that's a step you definitely don't wanna forget because lips probably see some of the most damage. So we got some scuffs over here, as you can probably see. 
I know it's kind of hard to tell. We're gonna hit those with our 1500 grit and we should get these lips looking good. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the lip with some 1500 grit all around. Try to smoothen out all the edges. If you got some minor curb rash or something from a mounting machine or anything. So you're gonna hit the entire lip of the wheel with some 1500 grit. Next, we're gonna do the same thing we did on the barrels. We're just gonna wipe off what we just sanded. We're gonna take a very small amount of our compound, just small little dabs around the entire lip. I like to use the small pad on the lips. So you just wanna go back and forth. Once you're done, wipe it off. And last but not least, what you wanna do is give the wheel one more final wipe down with a brand new clean microfiber. You wanna make sure everything's clean. You wanna make sure you're pressing down into the actual steps. Sometimes some compound could be left over in there. Rule of thumb was when you're done wiping it, you shouldn't see any black or any compound left on your microfiber. You might have some if you're wearing gloves, your hands, but that's the rule of thumb I like to use. So that's pretty much it. That is a easy and cheap way to polish your wheels at home if you don't wanna go out and send your wheels to someone to get done because it does get pricey. By no means am I a professional polisher, but this is something you can do at home, simple tools, simple products, and you get a pretty good result. This all realistically takes maybe half an hour to 45 minutes to do per wheel. We did just do a barrel in this video. You can do the faces, of course, but the face was already off for this. It is the exact same method when it comes to the face. If you guys found this video helpful, please smash the like button, hit the subscribe, turn post notifications on. Comment down below if you guys have any comments, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.